Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coolum Beach Bowling Club. Uh, sorry about the delay we have here this morning, but we've had some very inclement weather. It's um, 34 mil of rain overnight, and it's just started to sprinkle again now, and it, we've had a bit of rain this morning. But here we are for the semi-finals, and this morning we've got a great match-up in the uh, ladies' fours. But this morning, we cannot bring you this event if it wasn't for the sheer generosity of the Sunshine Coast Council, Bowls Queensland and Hansel Light, the choice of champions. Hansel Light is the major sponsor of the Bowls Queensland State Falls, and we thank them very much for their support. So we've got a... Uh, they're on about the sixth end now, I think, but also to the sponsors of Bowls Queensland, who are here... Bowls Queensland is proudly sponsored and supported by Mullins More Than Law, Queensland Government, BCIB Insurance Brokers, Asset Sports, J Carroll Club Promotions and IWE Innovations with Energy. We thank them for their generosity and continued support of our great game. And we ask anybody who could use any of those sponsors, please do. Now this morning, said so we had a bit of a, a late start, but you can just see the rain just starting to tumble down again now, just as we come on air. And this morning's game is a ladies semi-final match, and we have got Cheryl Heaps, Karen Goldsworthy, Julie Keegan and Bolivia Merrick, and they're up against Janet Healy, Jess Perrin, Esther Regan and Faye Clark. And now at the moment, I know Bolivia's got uh, quite a comfortable lead. Um, as we were setting up out there this morning, we've moved from one green to the other green and we had to move all the cords and, and everything, so we apologise for being a bit late, but uh, there was nothing we could possibly do about it. So we see Faye with those customary black and white bowls of hers. She's, has she going to hold long enough to get this kitty? She's just got to get inside that bowl there of Julie Keegan's, or just got a little bit too fat there. Uh, anyway, Esther says she's not too sure. Who's got shot? She goes that black and white bowl um, on the left-hand side just behind the kitty. You can see the kitty just in front of that. Um, that um, looks like... I don't think it's... Um, Janet Healy is the black ones, but you can tell the kitty's been moved off the off the line, so someone's obviously trialled it. So Bolivia, who's played some bombs here this morning. Absolute incredible bowls. Once again... Well, not too far away. So Wester telling Faye she's just got to draw inside that. It was pretty hard to do with the green, as I said, 40, um, sorry, 34 mil last night. And it's been very heavy here this morning also too. When we got here just after six, it was steady and um, the greenkeeper was going to start mowing at about 20 to seven. All of a sudden the heavens just opened and the greens went completely underwater for quite a period of time. Yeah, two great sides, and Lorraine, and uh, we've got two great games here today. Absolutely sensational games. Um, whoever makes the um, men's final, it's going to be a crack of a game. So it looks like it's between these two bowls here. Uh, it must be, um, must be Esther Regans and, and Karen Goldsworthy there by the looks of the colour of those bowls. Because uh, Janet's using the pink ones, and Jessie's using the ones just behind... Esther's left foot there. You can just see the blue with the uh, with the um, pattern over them. So must be Esther's bowls. Not too sure who got shot out of that, but we'll soon find out when we turn around and see what leads got the mat. It looks like Cheryl's uh, got the mat, so it must have been one to the Bolivia Merrick led combination. Uh, very humid up here this morning, with, naturally with the rain and that's around, but um, I'll just give you the uh, latest bomb forecast. It's 18.9 degrees, and it's 82% humidity, so it's not actually, it's not hot, it's just humid, which is, I know it's, it's uh, two different things, but uh, believe you me, you don't have to uh, do too much work out there to sweat and... Uh, very warm. Good morning, Warren Downey. How are you, mate? Good to have you on board from Burnett Bowls Club, Bundaberg City. So Cheryl has uh, led up very well here this morning. She's played some very, very telling bowls. Jeanette has also. They all have in actual fact. So the starter there. 
from Cheryl. Probably around about four foot behind the head. The player is very conscious of the fact now that it's raining that um, the green's going to slow down. But I must admit, I couldn't speak more highly of uh, of the green staff here. Even the players are saying they can't get over how well the um, the green's running even after the rain. You know, they're... Um, so they uh, they made it this morning and uh, did a great job. Good morning, David. G'day, Ray. Luchika, how are you? G'day, Mark Rooney. I hope all those mothers there had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday. So Cheryl with the second bowl, as you can see up here on Rick 7, playing away from the club rooms here at Coolum. You can see the green, the way it's still taking grass, even after all that rain last night. So it's... Uh, it's really, <laughs> the players are a little bit fascinated by it, and that's your fact, how, uh, how good it's running. Of course, for those of you who aren't aware, in the other semi-final out there at the moment, there's Joan Tennant playing Wendy Wilson. As we see Janet on a very good line here, just going to run through the head, but anything can't behind is handy. Now, in the men's semi-finals, you've got Jake Wren playing Adam White and Nick Gosley up against Kane Nelson, and we'll try and give you those results. Uh, Robbie's <laughs> out there with his binoculars already trying to uh, trying to get it all set up. G'day Darren Jackson. See a good bowl there from um, Karen Goldsworthy there just sitting in behind the head with those uh, as I said those black and white bowls that she has. Now this is Jess, Jess Perrin. It's not a bad bowl there by Jess. It's just falling over. Good morning, Beth. How are you this morning? Right, Karen, once again, sticking to the backhand. Seems to be the favourite hand to be playing. Gee whiz, she's played this well too. Slight correction in her weight. Not too bad at all. Michael Brindle. Good morning, Michael. Morning, Michael Judd. Hey, Jessie, she's not going to be too far away. She's just going to cut. As I said, even after all the rain, still look at the amount of grass they've got to take there. It's uh, it's amazing how much um, how much green, uh, how much grass, I should say, you're still taking. See a few spectators starting to um, come on in. I said it's been very heavy rain here early this morning. Uh, Julie Keegan. Uh, Esther Regan on the mat at the moment. Good match up here, Esther and uh, Julie. Two very much seasoned campaigners playing against each other. As you can see, yes, Robbie's got the ladies' other semi final already up there. That's uh, just underneath the master board at the moment. It's four to Joan Tennant and three to Wendy Wilson after five ends. So good morning to all our viewers. Okay, Esther's just trying to come around that bowl there of um, Julie's. Has she got the run? Not quite. Good line. Yes, well, the <coughs> head's pretty much open for the skips. I said, <laughs> I know the first hand we were setting up the camera down the other end, and um, Bolivia was at least three down. Um, they played a colossal ball, and Bolivia put the kitty in the uh, in the ditch for, I think it was three. It was an incredible bowl. Let's we'll see what she had to get through to get it. But uh, I said there's been some very telling bowls. Bolivia's been on fire here this morning. G'day, Carl. How you going? A little bit wide with this one. Her weight's absolutely spot on. Just conscious of the fact she had to come around those uh, ones out there on the wing. On your Wally. I think Faye, is she around this bowl? I don't think she's going to be around it. Yeah, just a bit more grass, and that's made it a bit harder for her to get into there, too, with that on the wing. 
Yeah, so Bolivia's weight absolutely perfect with that first bowl. Just got to cut a grass line down. Hey, good day, Wayno. I'm assuming it's you, buddy. If not, good morning, Kathy. Hey, good to see you the other day, mate. Yeah, just uh, looks like Esther's calling it for one. Be under this one. Yeah, just gonna miss it. It'll be a little bit wider. Looks like they're gonna put a tape on it. Yeah, we enjoy doing it, um, Carl. We're just showcasing. Our game out there to the world, mate, and um, we enjoy doing it, Carl. That's the thing about it, mate. It's uh, awesome to... Um, uh, there you go. She was one down, so it was one with that um, with that Karen Goldsworthy bowl. Yeah, it's good to help out all the viewers that can't make it, buddy, particularly on a day like today, too. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people probably were going to come up for a drive if they live north of Brisbane, but I think the weather would probably stop them this morning, so they can sit at home and watch it and still enjoy it. Craig Holmes, how are you going, my friend? Is that knee of yours coming good, or what's happening? Here you had a bit of a uh, an accident when you were at uh, Rabina Bowls Club there one day, mate. Hope you're uh, on the road to recovery, buddy. We should have, uh, whoever wins this men's semi-finals, I think that we've been informed, I think Robbie said to me today, that we're going to do the final of the men's. Um, we've had the ladies on the last um, two days in the fours. They've been fantastic to showcase their skills and had some incredible games, haven't we? And <laughs> absolutely superb games. And we're doing the ladies' semi-final this morning. With no, no matter who makes it through, you've got um, four quality teams here. <laughs> you got on your mic. That's a good start there once again by uh, Cheryl. Cheryl Heaps, of course, is from the Broad Beach Bowl Club. As all these uh, girls are in uh, Bolivia's team, of course. Okay. Jeanette, not going to be too far away. Just going to run across her head. This needs a bit more grass. Maybe a little bit more weight. Right, Cheryl changing her hand with that last bowl where it finished. Cheryl's one of those players that just wants to play lead. That's why she's such a formidable opponent to play against. And uh, she's just happy to sit back, roll the kidney and draw two shots, which uh, makes her pretty handy in any team. Right. Yeah, I think she's just going to cut. She wish she had good weight on that too. Very good weight. So Karen Goldsworthy, very experienced campaign, and what a person to have playing too for you. Normally skips a rink as a rule. So and what a bowl! Yeah, that's a very good bowl there by Karen. So Jesse, of course Jess is uh, one half of the Lawn Bowls to you operation. Yeah, she's opened that up. That's a good bowl there by Jess. Very good bowl. So she's probably still one down, but she's opened up and given everybody a, a look at the kitty. I wouldn't be surprised if Karen tries to trail this kitty now. Just put it in behind her first bowl. And she could have the opportunity of probably making three shots out of it. Tell you what, not too far away, just to wait. It's come to a pretty handy home in there, so... Yeah, Faye telling um, Jessie just to attack that a little bit. If she's on a good line, comes down to her weight now. Coming home pretty well, even if she sits off hers. Oh, what a great attempt. Well, the best part about it, too, is that bowl there just splits those two bowls, one of uh, Cheryl Heaps and one of Karen Goldsworthy, so very good bowls. But this is the uh, the luxury that Bolivia has, having Julie Keaton come in after Karen Goldsworthy. 
has um, Esther, Regan, two coming in after Jess. So both absolutely, I said, star-studded teams on both sides. Just whoever adapts to the conditions best. Okay, Julie. The weight wasn't too bad. Just got to correct her grass line. Again, she's being more precise at the head. Just going to duck under once again. I said, I think the players are quite amazed at uh, how well the greens are running, considering the amount of rain they've had. Now, I must congratulate the green staff here, uh, Michael and Dipper. I think they've done a superb job uh, at, under very trying conditions. Even this morning, after all the rain, the green's been completely underwater, though. Absolutely superb. Good morning, Jeremy. Jeremy Grundis, how are you? Hope you're keeping well, my friend. OK, Bolivia. Probably holding one with that bowl of Karens, I'm assuming, but I'm pretty sure she'd like to just, uh, as I said, just tuck that kitty around the corner. She's got the opportunity there of possibly making three. Still just lightly sprinkling. It's not what you call heavy, it's just light. Yeah, talking to a lot of the players and they're very, very, very complimentary about the greens considering the amount of rain we've had. And the girls, even when they come off yesterday afternoon, I was talking to them when we were off air and they said they couldn't get over how well the green was running, even with the rain and, and that that they had. So Faye, looking to sit this bowl of uh, Karen Goldsworthy out of the head. Yes, she got the run. She's not too far away. It's a good bowl here by Faye Clark. That's a very good bowl. It's like a touch of a looks of it. No, it mustn't have touched. Esther's not marking it, so. Okay, Bolivia. Looking just to crack an egg on that uh, shot bowl. <laughs> G'day, Kerry. What a great bowl by Bolivia. Gee whiz. That's a magnificent bowl. <laughs> you don't get much better than that, do you? You know, I, I said the uh, sprinkling with rain, had a lot of rain overnight, and to play a bowl like that, that just shows you what great skill these girls have got. Yeah, I think I think it's a pretty good call there by Faye. She's taking the one. Don't blame her in the least. There's a lot of danger on that head there if she happened to. There's no way in the world she would have got the second shot out of that. So I think it's a good call by uh, Bolivia just to take one. OK, we're on the board. Let's get going. Let's change this momentum around. Yeah, it is a bit wet, Wayne. I can assure you of that. It's... Um, had a lot of rain here overnight, Wayne, and uh, they're forecasting, you know, a few showers today, and that's why we're on the top green. Um, the uh, Looking at the weather map, the match committee made a call and they asked the greenkeeper what he thought, and he said, well, the top green drains a lot better than number two. So we uh, moved everything up here this morning, and a uh, big call out to Robbie, who did a superb job once again, uh, getting us up here and getting us on air. He really did do a great job. But then again, he was under... <laughs> Complete adult supervision with me looking over his shoulder. Well, he bumped into me a few times during as I was in the way, but that's not my fault. Should watch where he's going. <laughs> he's shaking his head over. <laughs> he's getting one of them headaches again. Then while I'm around, a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of a weight off there from Cheryl. <coughs> Jeanette looking very good there, just um, sitting on the line. Just looking for about another three foot of weight here, or even onto her own bowl. That's come to a good home. Anything behind the head in this type of conditions, very good. Cheryl's just got to correct her, uh, her weight and her grass line slightly. 
more than capable of doing. Is he going to sneak through that? Well, not quite. Good morning, Leslie Burgess. Okay, Jess, sticking to her backhand. As most of all the players are playing here this morning. But both hands are drawing very well. Yeah, very well grasped ball there from uh, just P Jesse. Now this lady here, she's uh, she's had a very good state series so far, Karen. Just a little bit heavy with this one here, though. There's uh, there's a few people inside the clubhouse in there, uh, in the warmth in there. <coughs> there's a few people in there watching it on this live on the screen too. Yep. Ball there from Jess. Still probably really got probably about two and a half, three foot to draw that though. So I'm anticipating uh, one of these other girls will no doubt get one a bit closer. You don't give quality opposition like that um, the opportunity twice. Uh, Les made up. Yeah, that's a great correction there by Karen, as I said. Um, you don't give him two goes. Not 100% sure, Les. I'm assuming. Um, this game here, because of the conditions, uh, should be finished round about the same time. I think we should be off round about um, yeah, round about twelve. So round about twelve, I reckon. So yeah. So Julie, just a little bit underdone grass line, but the weight's going to be yeah, just a little bit more weight too, but Karen definitely got the one shot there. I think Jess would be second shot with that bowl sitting just behind the head or even uh, could be uh, Janet with that uh, front bowl there too. So Esther trying to outdraw this one here. Yeah, not too far away, just running through the head. Very conscious of the fact that they have to reach the head. I'd, I'd say at this stage, Les, and it's only a ballpark, so <laughs> I'm only taking a guess. It's entirely up to the uh, match committee to do a superb job. They uh, they really do. I said they're uh, criticised, but under these type of conditions, and they've got to make some tough decisions, uh, I reckon they'll probably be around about 12.30, quarter to one. I think they'll try and get it away as fast as they can, but they've still got to give the players enough time, Les, as you understand, um, to have some lunch and that also too. It's... Um, I know a couple of them drove up this morning. Not all of them are staying here. Some of them live north north Brisbane, so it's only, you know, an hour's drive, they reckon. So um, some of them are going home every night, so they'll be hungry coming around 11 o'clock, no doubt. So I think they'll be looking for some food. So anyway, we see Faye Clark coming down, just pulling up. The weight really wasn't too bad on that. It was pretty well spot on. Just really needs a little bit more grass. And this is what I think the players uh, can't get in their head with it sprinkling with rain, humidity. They can't get over the amount of grass that they've got to take. So it's good to see. Okay, Bolivia. She's trying to add a friend. She's gone into the pack of water. Isn't it amazing how when your lead drops one short, everybody seems to go into that pack? But I've uh, seen it over the years happen numerous times. So, Faye, I don't think her bow will come back from there with that weight on. Morning, John. Watching from Foster. Ah, <laughs> Gary Gilligan. G'day, Gary. Well done in the triples, uh, Gary. Uh, great effort making the final. And uh, what a final it was too. Well played. Uh, thanks for those kind words, Gary. We, we try our best, mate, but we just want to get this great game of ours out there. And with that, we must thank uh, Bowles Queensland Board for the wonderful initiative they have of uh, showcasing this great game of ours. I think it's uh, fantastic. Trying to get the game out there to as many people as they can. So Bolivia dropping into that pack once again. She may get Julie's bowl. No, not quite. 
Good on you, Gary. Good day, Mary. What's good to have you on board? See, you've been watching a fair few of the films during the night, Mary. Too uh, must be pretty late over there at the moment. Uh, or are you up early, Mary? Because Mary's one of our regulars from um, Fife in Scotland. Yeah, just the one, mate. Oh, uh, Karen Goldsworthy, handy picker. <laughs> Apparently, be having a bit of a joke with her team there. Uh, pretty hard to upset uh, Bolivia Merrick, I tell you. She's uh, always got a smile on her face. That girl, her and her sister Kaz, they're uh, absolutely fantastic. Great, um, really are. Great role models for our game. For any young one, if you want to really copy someone's delivery and someone's attitude, I highly recommend uh, Bolivia Merrick. She really is uh, full of enthusiasm. What a great start here. Once again by Cheryl. Gee whiz, that's a good bowl. That's, uh, that's first class. So Janet Healy looking to outdraw that. Very conscious of the fact that she's just got to reach... Again, that's a very good attempt to... That's well played. Cheryl may have to change her hand now, I think. She, that bowl there is still on the run. I think she'll, slick, she'll switch over to the backhand for sure. Yep. Uh, not too far away once again. Anything in behind the head, I think. Yeah, that's just yeah, that's really good. That's really good leading that. One on, one is round about three foot behind. Morning, Christine, watching from Toowoomba and Mary Bell Rose. Oh Janet, yeah, just had to be reach there. Good day, Brucey, how are you? Ah, uh, my old mate Mick. <laughs> good idea, Mick. Watching from Long Bay Jail. Yeah, good day, Brizzy. Hope all goes well this week. Yeah, I thought it'd be around midnight over there, Mary. Oh, it's no good about the knee. I hope the orthopedic surgeon can fix it for you. Get back on the green. Get back enjoying this great game of ours, Mary. Okay, Jesse. A little bit underdone grass line. She may get hold of Janet's bowl here. No, just missed it. She got the edge of that. She may have just rocked that up. It's uh, a little bit closer. Morning, Sharon. Leslie Mitchell watching from Perth in WA. Lovely part of the world. Okay, Karen. Has to pull off a bit of weight after her uh, last bowl. Again, I think she's got a little bit of uh, weight in there. It's come to a pretty good home there, though. Good morning, Sandra. Okay, Faye, just showing just Jack Eye. Not going to be too far away from this. It's holding nicely. Oh, she didn't want to slice the kitty. Could have been a bit worse off. So she gave it every opportunity. She crossed the head. And this lady here doesn't need any introduction at all. Julie Keegan, <laughs> never far away. And that's really a nuisance bowl there. It actually, as the viewers can see, it actually obstructs the uh, the players down the other end for seeing the kitty. Sometimes psychologically that can uh, just upset a player. But I tell you what, Esther's on a good line. If she's got the weight, she's not going to be too far away. She's played this absolutely brilliantly. Well, she's stuck it out there in the open so everybody can see it. Morning, Mary. Watching from New Orleans Island. Good to have you on board again. Yeah, you people never sleep over there, do you? You're too busy watching bowls. Hey, good to have you on board. So, Julie, she got the line. Has she got the run? She's not far away once again. Is. is it going to hang up? Well, I reckon that's definitely in the count anyway. We'll probably be second shot. I reckon I favour this bowl of uh, Cheryl Heaps here, the uh, blue bowl here at the back. I reckon that'll probably be shot. 
Esther, just uh, just going across the head there. And of course, tomorrow up on the Sunshine Coast, all over the coast, we've got the uh, pairs starting. And that, again, will be an absolutely fantastic event all over the uh, coast. I know there's a lot of the players uh, looking forward to it. Oh, Anne. <laughs> G'day, Anne, from Christchurch. It's just stopped raining. Great day to watch bowls. Ever so true, Anne. Oh, Bolivia, again, once again, following her bowl down the green. Why wouldn't she? She's very happy with this. That's a that's a brilliant bowl there, boy, and Okay, Faye. Under a bit of pressure. She'd be, uh, I'd say, at least three down. Very experienced player, Faye Clark. Well, great bowl. Just the one down. Definitely ease the pain, that's for sure. Well played. Sit under a bit of pressure. Okay, Bolivia. Doesn't have to change too much from her last bowl. One thing I do know, this girl has a very good memory. G'day, Lynn Jeffrey. Ha <laughs> it's Maxi. I know Maxi. Well, it's, uh, believe it or not, that's, you might find this hard to believe, but that's a pretty good bowl because it, it is going to force uh, Faye to change hands because uh, she can't, uh, she can't get in there on that hand now and get shot. And I'll tell you what, to get shot on her backhand too. Yeah, the only shot she well, that I know is really is a speculator, which I really don't like playing, but is probably playing weight onto that pink bowl of um, Janet's. That's uh, about the closest I think she could get as a bit of a cannon on there. Good morning, uh, Jackie O'Brien from Corwell. Anne Smith from Christchurch, and of course Anne Little is watching from Dunedin. They're trying to dead draw it. Yeah, just a little bit too much weight. Just the one there to uh, to Bolivia's team. Got away, snuck away to a bit of a start here. Oh, uh, Lorraine, it's an absolute pleasure bringing you to. No, I'm pretty good. There's something I look forward to, in actual fact, Lorraine. Uh, you might find it hard to believe, but I do every day. It's uh, every day's new games and new people to uh, to broadcast, and I know how much you people look forward to it. So that's what drives Robbie and I and the team, and um, particularly Bowls Queensland. As I said, they're trying to showcase this great game of ours, and I know for a fact I have so many clubs say to me of late, Lorraine, how it's picked up their participation rate, and actually some clubs are starting to pick up uh, the odd member out of it, So, which is really pleasing. What a great role. Saving your skipper any work. Oh, Helen, it's not that bad, really. It's uh, The green's still running very well, Helen. It does look horrible, but it uh, looks as though it's getting a bit lighter again now. So there's really not much behind this. It's, uh, what we've had, it's going to be clear for a while. I reckon we might get some more tonight, so I've led to believe. Yeah, once again. Okay, <laughs> is that right? G'day, Shane. Yeah, your dad's out there, mate. You can see the score there. Robbie's got the scores on the left-hand side of the screen. Kane Nelson, 11. Nick Gosley, 8 after 9 ends. And Adam and Jake Wren, 7 all after 8 ends. That's a good starter there from Janet. Okay, Cheryl, just going to cut across the head with this one. Yes. 
Yeah, probably needed probably another couple of feet of weight with that too, or so too. Uh, Janet got a lovely line on this one here. Starts working its way into the head. She's not going to be too far away. Yeah, lovely bowl. Well done. Right on the line. Two shots. Can't do any more than that. Yep. But Olivia, always very, very enthusiastic. Is she going to sit this bowl? I think she is. Get the edge. Yep, that's a great bowl there by Karen, isn't it? Yes. Bowls in the head. That's what it's all about in conditions like this. Right, Jess, I tell you what, she's not far away. She's played this very well. Yes, yeah, very good bowl there by Jessie. Be holding, uh, yeah, probably two, maybe three, but I wouldn't worry about the third one yet. It's a little bit too far away. I don't think Karen's got too much she's got to change. She's just got to sit that bowl of uh, Jessie. So I think she could be a little bit wide with this one, though. She comes in behind the head, I think. Don't think Bolivia is. Probably Jack High, though. That's probably more draw weight. Okay, Jess looking to put something in behind, matching Karen's back bowl here, which she really does need. They're attacking on the forehand, and, uh, yep. Yeah. Probably a little bit further than um, Faye wanted it, but you never know. It changes the weight they have to play. Yeah, good try. Well, unfortunately, Brody, we can't do that because the men are right down the other end of the green. So it's not only just switching down there, it's something that we can't do because all of our leads and everything are all set up down this end of the green. So Esther, trying to sit this bowl. Oh, she doesn't want to get it in the belly. They just got a little bit too much of uh, Julie's bowl there. But they'll be holding two to Faye Clark's team. Uh, Julie just trying to beat this jack high bowl of uh, Jessie's little inside edge. Uh, she's put that in a pretty good home there for Bolivia. She's got a couple of catches there now. <laughs> On you, Michael. Yeah, Kerry be looking for some scones around about now, buddy. Jam and cream. <laughs> Hello, Robbie's hungry now. Yeah, well, that's a pretty good bowl. That bowl's just going to hold up on its line. So, Bolivia got the opportunity to get in there. She may be able to uh, get Kitty by the looks of things. She could even, well, I don't think she will, but she could even get that really on the back end onto Cheryl's bowl there, which is the blue one just in front of Julie's foot just then, on the, the one on the right-hand side just sitting in front of Kitty. But I think she'll play her, uh, her forehand. Uh, she's got a nice little port down there she can get in. <laughs> well, mate, you're into Wombo. You got that right. It's cold and wet. You got that right. Working hard. Come on, Michael. You're talking to us now. Uh, a bit wide with this one, Bolivia. Even though look at this starting to come in now. Good wait for what she's after. Well, she's put Julie in a very good position there. So Team Clark holding. I'd say they'd be holding three shots there comfortably by the looks of it. Oh, Faye. Got a oh, that's a great bowl there by Faye. She's blocked that hole. So now, really, uh, I believe he's got to play through it. Yeah, four down. I just saw the call there from uh, from Jurley. Just saw four four fingers go down. So that bowl of Faye's does count. I'd say the closest bowl, yeah, is that bowl of um, Cheryl's. Or even that bowl of Jurley's not... 
too far away neither. It's the tricolour one at the back. You can see the green sticking out. But uh, Cheryl with the blue bowl. I wouldn't be surprised if she plays weight through... Yep, yeah, throw play weight through the pink bowl, it wouldn't surprise me. Yep. Attacking bowl. So Michael, you're telling me you drove past Kerry Green's place without dropping in some scones for him, mate. Gee whiz, that's a bit tough, Michael. Probably had no cream and jam, eh mate? Okay, Bolivia, she's having a very good look at this. Yeah, you're dead right, Michael. She was, wasn't she? Very, very good player, Bolivia. One of the best. Oh, a bit wide. Going to get a result, though. As she did, she killed it. <laughs> That's uh, She got the result. That, uh, a little bit wide with it. I think she wanted that back. But anyway, she uh, played an attacking bowl. Uh, Cheryl's got the mat. So that's the, playing the 11th end. It looks like they're going to keep it a bit short with this one here. See quite a few uh, quite a few cars out there. There's It's a very busy place here at uh, Coolum. I said there's... Uh, Always activity around it, and people often stop outside the uh, fence there and watch the bowls for a while, so it's, uh, it is good to see uh, the people here. Good day, Judy, watching from 1770, lovely part of the world. On <laughs> Snow Barrel, <laughs> you got that right, Wally. <laughs> yes, I'm sure he'll be at Audi very early on Saturday morning. What a great start from Cheryl, sitting Jack Eye. <laughs> yes, he looks a bit like the unbundable snowman this morning, mate. I can assure you, he's got that many layers of clothing on. It's uh, not what you call real warm here, uh, Wally. A great bowl there from uh, Janet Healy, also too. That's a, that's a great reply. Yeah. Yeah, looking, uh, looking good now. So I've just been informed by the, by one of the match committee. Just showed me the bomb site. Looks like the sun's trying hard to come out here, so we probably get it in, hopefully. Uh, nah, mate, he would have been probably going for his 10kg run, I reckon, Michael. Yeah. Good morning, Belinda. How's Pretoria this morning in South Africa? Yeah, rubbish going well to uh, Belinda. G'day, Christian. Catch up with you, mate, later on in the year, hopefully, Christian. So, Karen, just looking to um, dead draw. Now, even it's amazing with the amount of rain we've had. Look at that bowl coming back to the line. Yeah, that's a handy bowl there. It's a very good bowl. That would probably be third shot. Yeah, Jesse, just need a bit more grass. Morning, Trishna Thomas. How are you this morning? Danny Racco. G'day, Danny. Great seeing you on the weekend. I tell you what, she's got this, just going to drop under the line. But look at this head here. G'day, Jocelyn. Well played too, Jocelyn. You girls did very, very well. Make the quarterfinals. Very well done. You look at the bowl, most of these bowls here. Most of them are within a match distance. It's a pretty good head. Uh, yeah, another good bowl in the head there. They've only got one in amongst three at the moment, though. Now they really need another one. You've got... Uh, That first bowl of Janet's in the head. See the sun coming out now. We've had all seasons in one day here this morning. 
Oh, uh, Belinda's cold and thunderstorms. That's no good. We'll keep nice and dry. Stay in bed and watch some bowls, uh, Belinda. After this game, we've got the men's final and uh, should be a cracker. It doesn't matter who makes it through. You can see the scores over there. Adam White uh, up against Jake Wren. It's 11-7 after nine. And uh, Kane Nelson and Nick Osley. Young Kane up 11-8 after nine. So um, they've got some great games out there. So you just see the picture up there. You can see Cheryl's definitely got shot. Oh, I'll tell you what, Julie might be even she might be pretty close to second shot just going on that angle there. So, um, yeah, just playing a positional bowl here. Um, Julie, Julie Keegan, of course. Uh, what hasn't Julie won or played in? It's absolutely an unbelievable resume she's got of things that she's achieved in her bowling career. Oh, well, they, Esther took one of her, uh, one of the, probably fourth shot, I reckon, took it out anyway, so it's still uh, open. But I, looking at that there, I'm assuming that Julie probably have, or Julie's shot, I reckon it may count. Uh, can see the score just there underneath there, Dane. Um Robbie's got that up underneath there, the women's semi-finals between Wendy Wilson and Joan Tennant. At the moment, Joan's in front, 14-6 after 10 ends. So, um, yep, Robbie's got all the scores up there on the board. Even the men on the left-hand side, Kane's just snuck away from Nick. It's 15-8 now. 11-8, um, Adam White, Jake Wren after nine. So... Faye Clark, she's at least two down, I reckon. I tell you, this is looking pretty good. She's got this on a very good track. Has she got the kitty? Yes, she has. She's made two shots out of that. That's a very good bowl there from Faye. Yeah, some pretty good bowls being played, uh, Ross. Hope you're keeping well, buddy. I know you had a bit of a health scare there a few months ago, so uh, hope you're back to your playing weight and back enjoying our game again. Ross, all the best to you. Right, Bolivia. Got the opportunity. She's got a couple of catches there of um, Karen Goldsworthy there. You can see the black and white bowls just in front of Julie. So if she plays to that, she could get a pretty handy result. I'll tell you what, she's in the area. She's very close to this. Oh, <laughs> what a great bowl there from... Uh, gee whiz, she played that beautifully, Bolivia. She just... The ball just fell the wrong way. <laughs> hey, good on you, Fuzz. Finally home for the day. You're going to spend it with me. Good on you, buddy. <laughs> uh, well done. Faye looking for third shot. Just running through. A little bit enthusiastic there. I think it uh, probably be two, I'm assuming, to, uh, to Faye. Very good bowl there, though, too, from... Um, from Bolivia, it's just about got it, but that was a good bowl by Faye too, that first bowl, she played it very, very well. Reckon the girls would be baking out there now with the humidity, <laughs> the, uh, the sun coming out with the moisture coming up out of the ground. Um, most of them had their uh, long johns and long pants and everything on, I think I'll be taking them off pretty soon if the sun starts sticking its head through. Right. Okay, Faye, Janet. Around about a medium length. Yeah, it's not a bad starter there from Janet. Yeah, it's a good starter there. Okay, Cheryl heaps on her backhand. Just 
don't think she's just quite got the run, but gee whiz, it's not too far away. And that bowl's on the run. Janet may have to change her hand. Yeah, I think she's going to sneak over to the backhand. Well, that bowl just fell over there, so... Anyway, she's comfortable changing over. Not too far away. Need a bit more grass. Well, Cheryl doesn't have to correct too much. She had an outstanding game here. In actual fact, watching her play some of her games, she's, uh, gee wish she's been leading very well. I don't think that one there really wanted her to leave the hand. It's, uh, she normally gets a bowl away pretty well, but she gave that one there and uh, wanted to stick. But I tell you what, if it keeps getting results like that, I'd be letting it stick a little bit more often. <laughs> what a great bowl. Beautiful correction there from her first bowl. Okay, Jessie, she's on a great line for this. Well, she's trailed the kitty back. She's probably made two out of that by the looks of it. But, uh, that bowl of um, Cheryl's is on the run. All it will need, will, well, they're going to play, looks like they're going to play on their forehand. But that bowl of Cheryl's, as I said, is uh, still on the run there, so it can just be tapped up slightly. Just like that. <laughs> it's all done with smoke and mirrors, isn't it? Got the result that she was after. Now, once again, though, as I said, even with an overcast rainy day, the amount of grass these players are taking and uh, the bowls are pretty well coming back to the line. So even that bowl there of Jess's, like, I mean, it was pretty wide, but she's just about come back to the line. Mainly just her weight was the, uh, was the downfall there. But she's put Bowl in a pretty good home there. Something that can be used. No, Karen. That sun comes out on this green. As uh, Dipper said, this green dries a lot quicker than the, uh, than the number two green. This thing will be playing beautifully this afternoon. Another bowl. Jack eye, as you can see, there's quite a few jack eye, isn't there? Six of them, all perfect, uh, perfect grass. There, Esther. Again, jack eye, just uh, dropping her grass line though. Right, Julie. Doesn't muck around on the mat, does she, Julie Keegan? Oh, I must give him uh, a lot of credit, uh, Fuzz, because it's been, uh, mate, it was pretty, pretty, pretty hard conditions when they're getting the greens ready this morning, but gee whiz, they did a great job, mate. Uh, good ball there from Esther. Very good bowl there from Mr. Regan. Looks like it could be shot. It's like Robbie just had a call from a bloke that uh, wanted to sell him an island. <laughs> Right, Julie. She likes the look of it. Oh, just uh, caught Esther's bowl, and uh, Esther said, yep, that was there. She caught it. <laughs> I mean, look at the players, though. They're still having a two-way to each other and having a laugh and a joke, so it's really good to see the camaraderie between the two teams. Very competitive against each other, but the camaraderie's first class. Yeah, 
Okay, Faye. Yeah, four hands the safest way. She's got Jess coming in there. She's going to set this bowl. Yes. You saw, saw that bowl there, the way it just uh, kept going across across the head there. So it shows, goes to show that the greens are the screen is definitely drying out slightly and it's taking a slight, just a little bit more grass. Hey, Bolivia concentrates on the mat. Trying to play through. Tell you what, she's very, very close. She'll get both of these. Bang, bang. <laughs> oh, I didn't have to. <laughs> she said she was going to get it off that bowl, and lo and behold, she did. So <laughs> you give credit where credit's due. That was a great bowl there by... Uh, by Bolivia once again. Gee whiz, she's she's played she's played incredibly in this game. I was watching the play the other day. She's not only in this game, she's been playing incredible all the way through. So the only thing really Faye's got there, she's only the one down, as uh Jess's bowls here at the back. She so gotta sit um Bolivia's bowl out or look for Kitty. Oh, just missed Bolivia's bowl. <laughs> Very close. Good attempt. Very good attempt there by uh, by Faye. She just missed it. She's still on fire. She is. Uh, you did reset, Michael. She played so well yesterday, didn't she? She's just uh, absolutely on fire. Concentration on her backhand. Hey. She's asking for it to turn. Why ask? I was always going to do it. <laughs> That's two great bowls there by Bolivia. What can one say? Yeah, you did right, Mel. Exactly what she's doing. I think when she's standing on the mat, Mel, I think she's just visualising the shot that she's going to play. And I think it's helping her game immensely. Um, she, as you know, she's been in the uh, high-performance uh, squad for a while, and, of course, they've been together a fair bit. And I just think Bolivia's game just going from strength to strength to strength. And I um, don't think this is legal, though. Reedy James, how are you, Reedy? No, oh, they're playing it, so Faye must be happy with it. Fair enough. I was <laughs> oh, just looking at just on the screen. Sometimes the cameras, as you know, Robbie can be very deceiving. I didn't think it was legal, but must be. They're playing to a lot of great start here from Cheryl, too. Gee whiz, that's a good first up bowl. Yeah. Okay, Janet, going to play her backhand by the looks of things. Yes, yeah, gone through a pretty good home. Well done. Yeah, you're dead right, Bev. She is on fire. She's just, uh, they were two, two cracking bowls she played. Couldn't speak more highly of them. But, uh, you know, her team's giving her a bit of help too. And this one here from Cheryl, she's really let up a treat. Once again. I think that's probably the key to it, um, Mel, exactly what you're saying. She's playing with a hell of a lot of confidence, mate. And I think that's, uh, that's probably the key to it too. I think you're 100% correct. 
Isabel Dawson watching from Glen Innes. Good morning, Faye. How are you? Ken Argent from the Alexander Bowles Club in Victoria. So, Karen. Once again, if she beats his bowl of Janet Shea, yeah, that's, that's good bowling, isn't it? Yeah, it is textbook stuff, Nico. I couldn't agree more. You know, Jess, that's a great bowl there by Jess. I don't think it's shot, but it could be a... Uh, looks like it could be second shot there by the looks of that there, though. But uh, she can correct with her next one. Bolivia now got the luxury with the lead and the bowls that she's getting to get her players to play positional bowls. So that's a bit of a luxury so early. And as you know how well her team are uh, competing for her. Yeah. And try there from Jess. Beautiful grass bowl. Yeah, Julie Keegan. Yeah, once again, that's a great ball there from Julie. Showing all of her, uh, <laughs> all of her class. There's plenty of it to show. Okay, Esther Regan. She seems to be in the area, just a little bit underdone. Yeah, it needs a little bit more weight than that. I think it's at the stage where they've got to start being a little bit aggressive. G'day, Christian Piper, how are you? Oh, th they're just playing incredible bowls, aren't they? And uh, gee whiz, Chris, you've got to take your hat off to them. I mean, you've got to give credit where credit's due. They're just uh, absolutely incredible the way they're playing here this morning. And as you said, absolutely unflappable and unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, no, it's one heck of a game, mate, that's for sure. It's just a pleasure to sit down and watch some really quality play. Now, Esther, looking to sit this bowl of jewellery. Again, she's not going to be far away. She's just going to cut underneath, though. Gee whiz, that's a great try. Just got that bowl just on the wrong side. Like I said, I think it's at the stage where they've got to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, instead of drawing it off, I think, because they, they do have a very attacking style, Faye and Esther, and um, maybe time. Mate, I'm learning heaps. Uh, Chris, I've learned not to play against them, buddy. That's the best call I can give. <laughs> you wouldn't want to play against them, mate. I tell you, they'd belt you. They'd belt me, I know that. <laughs> Uh, once again, as I said, Bolivia in the uh, very fortunate position where she can play some positional bowls. So, uh, but gee whiz, when she's been asked, when she's been asked to um, to play, pay a conversion, she's played it so well. Now, Faye, she on to Esther. Oh, just rolled it a couple too many, but she's opened it up for herself. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard for him to get a shot. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be pretty, uh, pretty hard to uh, to have a win against them at the moment. I think all of them are in fine form. Like, I mean, they're all just um, one of them's always around it, Chris. You know what I mean? There's, if it's one of them's not there, that's and that's what fours is all about, isn't it? It's a team game. If one of them's not there, it's, it's the other one has to be there, and this is where they're just uh, gelling so well. Now that's two shots there to uh, to Bolivia. Yes, uh, you're dead right, Dave. I've already given Dipper and the boys a couple of good raps here this morning, mate. Uh, he and his uh, assistant Michael, they've done a superb job here this morning, and uh, 
Yeah, I think that uh, considering the amount of rain we had last night, as I said before, for our viewers that have just come on, we had 34 mil and we've had some very heavy downpours this morning. And I know at 10 past seven, all three greens were completely underwater. Um, so, gee whiz, it's uh, an absolute credit. You wouldn't know that we'd had that amount of rain. And, uh, yeah, give credit where credit's due. Yep. Yep. Yep, they've all got to play to it. They said, let's go. <laughs> Pretty hard to uh, upset them, I think, at the moment. Particularly the way they're playing. So Cheryl, Cheryl heaps on the mat at the moment. Uh, gee whiz, she's really led the team beautifully here this morning. So Janet Healy playing a forehand. Very seasoned campaigner too. Janet. Yeah, good ball there. Good ball. So Cheryl sticking to the backhand. Hey. Yeah, you did right there, uh, Mel. They are great days, Greenkeeper's days. I've been to quite a few in my working career. No, they are good. And also, too, Federation Week. It happens every three years, Mel. It's a really good week because uh, I know think most of them think that the Greenkeepers just get there and have a booze up, but they don't. There's lectures in the morning they're from various chemical companies and various displays of new machinery and everything. And it's, uh, you go away with a lot of information from it. So... Uh, those days, yep, they've been a thing in the past, but I see they're starting to come back to uh, a little bit of fruition again, which is good to see. Yeah, I agree with that too, Chris. Yes, unfortunately, we were a respected species many years ago, but that fell by the wayside about 15 to 20 years ago. That seems to be a favourite topic within clubs these days to... Uh, Everybody can do better, unfortunately. First thing about it, when everybody thinks they can do better, they're still in bed when the greenkeepers are out trying to prepare. So, but uh, Karen just got to change her weight here slightly. Her grass line wasn't too bad, what she's after. I think Cheryl will be holding two there by the looks of that. I'll change it slightly. It's pretty good home there by Karen. So Jesse just got to look at about another five foot of weight. Oh, great try by Jess. Yeah, and that's true too, Chris. Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of uh, heartache for a lot of. Uh, Club's coming up soon because there's a lot of green coopers about due to retire, mate. And as you know, there's uh, there's no one coming behind us. And I've retired and I've been out of it now for 12 months. Been off for 12 jobs in 12 months and not interested in any of them. <laughs> so, uh, very happy in retirement, mate. Just doing this, something I love, showcasing our wonderful game. So Esther looking to dead draw it, at least a couple of down. Looking pretty handy here. Comes down to her weight. I tell you, it's a good bowl there from Esther. Again, just running through, though. That's, again, the quality of the green. It is, Gail. I, I agree. It's a pleasure to see. I, I love the fours, as you know, Gail. Always have and always will. <laughs> Ever so true, Chris. And look at this here, Julie, once again. It's a beautiful bowl there, too, also, too. What a day they were. Good on you, Glenn. They're always good memories made, aren't they? So Esther just trying to take a little bit of weight off. She's got a good line. The bowl starts working into the head now. She's not going to be too far away. That's a great bowl there from Esther Regan. Absolutely fantastic bowl. And that's the thing, though, Gail. It's when the falls in. It's all about teamwork. It's not about one person. It's all about, you know... 
the lead's not there, the second steps up, the third, and that's what I'm enjoying watching this team as well as watching Faye's team is that uh, unfortunately they Bolivia's team have just been absolutely on fire for Faye's team. That's, that's where it's a bit unfortunate for old Faye's team. They just haven't really had an opportunity to uh, showcase what skills they have, and I've seen them play. They've, they've played some great games. There once again, Bolivia not far away. Okay, Faye trying to add a friend. Again, I think it's just not too far. She's starting to work in now. Oh, that's a pretty good bowl there from Faye Clark. But also, unfortunately, it gives Bolivia something to uh, something to rest off. And she could get shot out of this if she sits that bowl and flops in. She'll be pretty close to shot, I reckon. So, Bolivia... She's telling it to turn. Uh, just a little bit too much weight on that one there. A little bit anxious. Well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Bolivia is human. She's missed one. <laughs> Robbie wants an instant replay on her being human. She's played that well here in the last few days. Faye, has she got the run? Oh, that's a great try. Is it one or two? Yeah, I think it was only one by the looks of that. Uh, so, Janet's taking the mat right back. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, good on you, Chris. Mate, she's, uh, she really has. I said I watched a few of her games. Uh, last few days, because as everybody knows, the women have been here at um, Coolum. And I tell you what, uh, Bolivia has been probably the standout player, in my opinion. Some of the shots she's played, but her whole team, as I said, have just been playing superbly. They really have been playing superbly. Yep, it's good enough, I reckon. We've all got to play to it. Oh. Janet Healy sticking to the back end. Yeah, it's not a bad starter in behind the head. <laughs> hey, good morning, John Wilson. Yeah, you can see that, Chris, isn't it? She's, uh, her games, I think she's just in a... She's in a happy space as she tries to fight as these days. She's, uh, you know, she's uh, just playing great bowls, and I think she's just enjoying it. She's just playing with so much confidence. So Janet, she's got a good line on this one here as it starts coming into the head. Yep, quite a good bowl. Well played. Well played. Uh, Cheryl, sticking the forehand. Tell you what, she has played this. <laughs> uh, she wouldn't let Janet have shots, would she? <laughs> That's a good bowl there by Cheryl, though, isn't it? You know, there once again, as I said, is that one of them get close. Uh, one of the girls step up and uh, change the head. I think I was always taught in bowls, as I said in fours, try and leave the head in a better better situation than you found it. <laughs> oh dear, the old Nugs, he's a good lad, mate. Look at Karen. She's adding to it, too. Yeah, he's a good lad, old Nugsy, mate. Right, Jess, trying to come around that. Even if she, oh, if she sits this wing bowl, she has to sit it on. Nah, she just missed it. She just had to sit it on the inside of the bowl too. She could have got shot out of that. K 
Okay, Karen once again looking to dead draw it. That <laughs> pelican, good on you, mate. Yeah, he'll go right there on Nugsy, mate. So, Esther. So, they'd probably be one, if not two, down. Yes, I just don't think she's wide enough. Made it a bit hard for herself to get in there too, playing that hand. <laughs> One thing I like is you just saw there Bolivia. She was very precise on her call. There wasn't, look, you can play here, but hang on now, if you come over here, she was straight to the point, gave the call, and it was over and done with, and Julie then has confidence to play the shot, because she's just got the one option to play, and that's it, and that's, you know, that to me is a sign of a pretty good skipper that uh, doesn't complicate with things, but wait, there's more, you can play over here and get shot. At least they're going to get a result here. Oh, great ball. Picked it up. Clean as a whistle. Yeah, gee whiz, they'll be holding four shots there. But uh, not for long, I don't think. I think uh, Julie Key will have something to say about that. Oh, dear, she's not happy with that. She is not happy with that. She's chastising herself on that one. So, she's not happy at all. You can see the scores going up there. Uh, Robbie's trying to keep everybody up to date. Um, Joan Tennant, 17. Wendy Wilson, 8 after 14 ends. Adam White, 13. Jake Wren, 9 after 12 ends. Kane Nelson, 18. Nick Gosley, 10 after 14 ends. Uh, Robbie's trying to keep everybody up to date. Yeah, not a bad one from uh, Faye, but I think Bolivia probably, uh, I think she'll probably outdraw that one. All right, Bolivia on the back end. Probably just a couple down now. Tell you what, good ball here from Faye. Well, that may bring a few more back into play. And Bricky, good on you, Chris. Have a good day, bud. You can always come back and watch it later, buddy. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the day, mate. Yeah, good call there once again too. That's why I think these two are playing such good bowls. They're so positive in their calls with each other, aren't they? They play that much bowls with each other. They just know each other's play so well. Lawrence Demo, good on you, mate. Oh, is she wide enough? So, yes, I think she may have just knocked another one up there. So this is going to be a handy pickup to Faye. One, two, three. So that's four. That there be five. I think I'll probably... Good pick up here. Six. I think that's about it. I think they're going to measure this. Yep, I think they're going to measure. By the looks of this, they'll go to, no doubt, um, Bolivia's Bowl. Oh, no, hang on, where are they going to? Yeah, Bolivia's Bowl, yes. Hmm. 
Ah. Looks like six. So that's a very good pick up there to uh, Faye Clark. And I tell you what, you'd uh, you'd have a bet to say that Bolivia's team wouldn't drop a six the way they've been playing. But there you go. It just goes to show the tide does turn. Bit of momentum shift, maybe. So. Time to get moving. Good on you, Mick. Okay, Janet. Yeah, just down a bit, bud, that's all. There we are. <laughs> that right, eh? Yeah. Okay, so we'll see Janet sitting probably around about six foot just in behind the head, though. A beautiful grass line on that bowl from Janet, so we see Cheryl sticking to the back end, tell you what, she's not far away, she's a bit like a machine this lass, just keeps drawing, uh, good bowl once again, good starter, okay Janet, not going to be too far away with this one, yeah, beautiful correction in weight. Yeah, good bowl there. It's pretty handy. Yeah. Okay, Cheryl. This is the 16th of 21 ends. No, he's been doing other stuff. Uh, doing other stuff, uh, Bill. Yeah, I know. No, it's not right. He's just he's just doing other stuff. We come back to it. So Jess, what a great bowl here from Jess. He's just out doing something at the moment. Uh, Bill and he will fix it, my friend. So, Karen, going to get a little slider off this one. Yep, she certainly did. She may not have shot, but she's come to a very, very nice little catchment area there. Jessie, very well down once again. Just, yeah, just didn't quite have the have the grass line there, but gee, wish she had beautiful weight on that. Beautiful weight. <laughs> Aren't you, Bill? See Jacob Nelson there getting a drink of water. Uh, he got that one there. Uh, a little bit too fat for that one there. Um, Karen. So Esther. Just want to leave it out there exposed too much with these players. Having a good look at the kitty. Yes, not a bad weighted bowl there from Mister. Yes, Julie, I thought she started attacking the bowl. Yep. Well, it's come back to a <laughs> bit of fortunate there. It came back to Janet. Yep, Robbie will fix it for you now. Billy is back. <laughs> Esther. <laughs> Come on, you, Bell. <laughs> There you go, Bill. Look at that. Just He had it there, but he just didn't push the button to change it. So there you go. Easily fixed, my friend. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, all good. So Julie, she's got to be around these. I think she may be into the pack. Yeah, just then there's that. it's amazing what happens when the head changes, isn't it? And the kitty moves. It's uh, players just have to adapt, and that's the beauty about the outdoor game. You have to uh, play all seasons in one. That's for sure. You don't get any uh, many chances at this level to. Uh, To redeem yourself, it's a matter of just adapting as fast as you can. So definitely, generally, I'd say be holding a definite two there, two shots there. And Faye, she's if anything, I think she could be under done grass line too. <laughs> uh, hey, good on you, Bill. Wistful thinking, my friend. Hey, good on you, Christine. Great to catch up with you and Gaz yesterday. Safe travels. Uh, so Bolivia, couple down. Just trying to draw around this one here. Bowl starts working into the head. Yeah, well, it's not a bad try. Sitting oh, just behind the kitty. Very good attempt there from Bolivia. Okay, Faye trying to beat this last bowl of Bolivia's. Just sneaking around the back. Yeah, well, it seems to be breaking up here, uh, Christine. It seems to be... Um, seems the sun seems to be starting to uh, pour in. I know, I just had to take my... Uh, I've had my Gold Coast uh, jacket on this morning. It was that cold and also with the rain and everything. But... Uh, now all of a sudden I've broken out into a sweat. <laughs> all seasons in one day. Reminds me 30 years living on Tambourine Mountain. <laughs> Same thing. Hot in the morning, snowing in the afternoon. I believe you're changing hands. That pack there. I think she's into this pack now. She doesn't want that one. Well, that's knocked um, there too. Two shots to Faye Clark, so the momentum has changed. Yes, we can just see it's uh, it's, yeah, it's more up north by the looks of it though at the moment, so breaking up nicely at the moment, so It is getting warm. Yes, it certainly is. Okay, Jeanette, lovely first up bowl. Well done. Right on the line, looking for another couple of feet away, that's all. That's what Cheryl's got to come around, either hand. It's like a going to play it on the forehand. Very busy place, Coolum. You see the cars pulling up all the time. Yeah, that one didn't come back, just sitting jack high, but beautiful way to bowl there from Cheryl, that's for sure. Okay, Janet trying to come around that front one of hers. She's got the weight. She's definitely in the region. Look at this for a bowl. That's a great bowl there from Janet Healy. Just didn't, just fell over then. By the looks of it. <laughs> just touched. Cheryl. Oh, how close was that? Okay, Jesse sticking to the backhand. Oops. 
Oops. That's running through the head. Needs a bit more grass. Okay. Karen Goldsworthy. Yeah, got a little bit too much of it. What a great try here. Yeah, geez, that hand is that hand is really taking some grass. Robbie just pointed out, he just saw me, the wind's getting up and you can see a few of the trees out there because we can't see this green where we're sitting. Oh, we're absolutely uh, guided by the cameras. Really taking some uh, some grass out here. Look at this come back from Mr. Regan. It's still going to go across the head. Yes, you know, it's amazing considering the amount of rain we had last night. I can tell you, I think it's. Uh, it's Is she under Karen's bowl? She's going to get the wrong end. So she needed it in the belly, that one. Well, she's probably... Julie's locked in a very good second shot there, I reckon. So good good bowl there from uh, Julia. thought she was a couple down there. Uh, good save. Yeah, good... Yeah. It's going to be a little bit in Faye's eye, that one there, but it's definitely in um, Julie's eye. That's, Julie was looking to trail that on the forehand, but uh, I think Julie's asking, can she go quick at it? Yeah, so what she's asking... Leave your seat, go for it. Oh, it's across the head. Well, she didn't want that one, that's for sure. <laughs> that's what can happen sometimes. She took out their second shot, so I reckon they'll be three down there now. Oh, that jack eye bowl of Cheryl's, the uh, light blue bowl on the left hand side. I'm not too sure on that one there. <laughs> Oh, Robbie's got a side shot up there. Ah, oh, let's have a look at that. Well, definitely two down anyway. Def definitely two. That's Cheryl's ball there. Yep, anyway, too many balls to come to worry about it. Yeah, Faye had a beautiful grass line on that one there, just chasing a bit more weight. Okay, Bolivia. She likes this. <laughs> what a great ball from there from Bolivia. Gee whiz, that that is that is just a class bowl. You you can't really describe that. It's just absolutely yeah, that's sensational. Wow, you're dead right, Michael. Wow. Best way of saying it, just, uh, again, just in there. So Faye, have to be a bit careful. She doesn't take her shot bowl out. Uh, Bolivia, I don't think she's going to chase too much. They're going to try and draw it again, she said. She said, okay. She only said, show us how good your memory is. 
I still think that um, bowl of Janet's, I think, still still the shot by the looks of it. So Adam White, Jake Rin, 14-10 to Adam over Jake after 14 ends. Nick Gosley having a bit of fight back against Kane Nelson, 21-15 now after 17 ends. I too, I believe he had a beautiful line on that there, just a little bit too much weight. As I said, this is the momentum shift, hasn't it? Uh, they've, they've won the last three or four ends, but uh, what a great save there from Bolivia Merrick with that first bowl of hers. Gee whiz, it must have been only inches away from, or well, less than inches, <laughs> for being the shot. Played it beautifully. OK, Janet Healy, she's been leading the team nicely once they got control of that mat. Yep. 22-13. Really down to the business end of the game now. Quite realistically, Faye's team can't drop another uh, another end. They've got to crawl their way back. They've got to just take every end as it comes. A good starter from, from Jeanette. Cheryl just pulling up a bit. Short on that one. Beautiful grass line, though. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Janet with her second bowl. Looking for a little bit more grass. Uh, a little bit underdone. Yeah, a little bit underdone there. Beautiful weight on that bowl, though. Beautiful weight. Uh, good morning, Cliff. It's not like you being this late, my friend. So, Cheryl. Good looking bowl here. Has she got the weight? She's not going to be too far away. Yeah, well played. Not quite shot, I don't think. I favour Janet's shot, but she's uh, increased her weight line. Wasn't too far away. So, Jesse Perrin. Just has to come around this bowl of Cheryl's. And she's around it. Yeah, it's a great bowl there from Jess. I said the momentum has shifted slightly from uh, Bolivia's team to Faye's team. They're fighting their way back, as you'd expect, from this team of champions. OK, Karen. Has she got the gap? She was great attempt there by Karen, though. She was a little bit uh, unlucky. She just had a little bit too much weight for what she's after. She really just has to have a arriving weight. So Jess on a good line once again. How's her weight this time? Yes. Just not quite there, but a good attempt. That's going to that's give her a little bit of protection. I think Karen will have to change her hand now. I think it's on the forehand now, because I don't think she can get round that bowl to sit that bowl. Uh, gee whiz, this is coming back a long way, isn't it? Oh God, that came back a long way. Locked in a very good second shot there, I think, um, Karen Goldsworthy. Okay, yes to Regan. Very experienced campaigner, Esther. Yeah, needs to be a lot wider than that. It's really starting to take some grass now. Ah, oh, gee whiz. Yeah, see, that's... Bolivia saying, just draw it to Cameron's bowl here. They've got uh, something to play to, so... Tell you what, not far away neither. Look at this for a bowl from Julie Keegan. 
What a bowl. <laughs> what can one say? Absolutely magnificent weight. Grass line absolutely spot on. So Esther has to beat that bowl. At least she's got something to draw to anyway. She picks up the kitty, Jesse's bowl, sitting just in behind the head there. Oh, I just don't think she's got the weight. She had the line. Uh, just not quite. <laughs> Julie just said, we got two. And Billy said, no, we got one. <laughs> I'd be happy with one playing a bowl like that. Okay, Julie, she's got it out there once again. Look at these bowls. Look at them coming home. Off the edge. Yeah, great home there. Uh, that bowl of Jesses is holding in the uh, holding the Bolivia Merrick team out of a couple of shots, but um, yeah, unfortunately, Fay can't be aggressive because they haven't got much in behind the head. Fay really can just dead draw it to uh, Jesse's bowl, which is probably around about 18 inches behind the head. Oh, great try here by Faye. Oh, what a bowl. Faye Clark. Faye. Faye's happy. <laughs> what type of bowl Julie's using, uh, Mary? Yeah, aerodynamic. Yeah, she's been using this set for a while now, Mary, and... Uh, Tell you what, mate, she's been, as you can tell, she's been using them pretty well too, just quietly. Uh, she's uh, she's in fine form at the moment, Julie. She has been for a while. She's just one of those gifted players that um, can have some time off and uh, do some travelling. As we see, Bolivia, she's just not going to come back in time. Her and Michael, her hubby, of course, as you know, Michael and... Uh, they're around. Michael's up here watching Jules play, of course, and uh, been doing some travelling of that. And Julie can have like a month off and just go travelling and come back, step on a bowling green, and draw a resting touch of first bowl. It's uh, it's just naturally gifted uh, talent. And you've only got to look at her resume to see uh, what I'm talking about. And I don't think there's not many things that Julie has not won. Sue Mullins said, come on, Wendy Wilson. Oh, she's trying hard, Sue. 18-13 after 18, but I tell you what, the Jane Tennant's team with the uh, Williams girls in there. They're a pretty handy combination, <coughs> that, uh, that team, with um, Adele, Adele Perthouse, Perthouse playing two. Jeez, that's a luxury to have someone like Adele playing two. You've got Nicole Williams and Fiona Williams. Fiona leading up and Nicole playing three. That's a pretty handy combination, that. Okay, a little bit underdone grass line. She got an inside edge and got a wick out of that. Nearly. Nearly did. So one shot there to, uh, to Faye. She played that very, very well. And again, as I said, a bit of a momentum shift because they've won a few ends and... You can see the girls at the moment. They're showcasing their soccer skills. Great to see the rain holding off. Another good roll from um, Jeanette. Jeanette Healy, of course, from the Pine Rivers Bowling Club, as is Jess, as is Esther. And Faye, of course, is uh, from Bagara. Uh, not Bagara, I should say. Uh, yeah, Bagara Bowls Club. She's wearing. Lives up in Bundaberg. So, Jeanette, she's not going to be far away with this one. Once again, that's another great starter. Not too far away. But, um, really let up a treat. Both these girls. 
Yeah, not far away there, Cheryl. So, Jeanette, she's not too happy with that one there. could tell when she, uh, she delivered that. She wasn't very impressed. Uh, Cheryl just got to uh, grass line absolutely spot on with her first bowl. Just got to uh, just drop a tad of weight off. And again, she's not far away. Yeah, that's very good leading. That's well played, Cheryl. Okay, Karen, doesn't have to change too much. Any movement of the kitty would be very beneficial. Yeah, I think she's got the kitty here. Yeah, made a very good three shots out of that. but And that kitty's really in between those uh, two bowls there, so makes it pretty hard to... Um, makes it pretty hard to get that out in actual fact. I believe you're having a bit of a look at this here. It's a pleasure, Mary, giving you that info. It's not a problem at all. Anything you want to know, you just ask, and we'll try and help you try to keep all of our viewers happy. Okay, Bolivia. Uh, just giving Karen a few instructions. As I said, it's a pretty hard one to pluck out of there. The only way you can really get that out is uh, really play the perfect bowl. That's all you've really got there to uh, to beat that bowl. They've got three very good shots there. And just always seems to be the team behind when it's time to chase. Makes it very hard. So Esther trying to play a bit of an aggressive line down here. Unfortunately, I think she wanted a bit more weight. She may get under Janet's bowl. May get a little straightener. Helps slightly. Yeah, Pat, it was a good bowl, wasn't it, eh? Um, yeah, Wayne, they're forecasting a bit of rain for tomorrow, but um, talking to a few people, they think it might come in tonight. Um, they're not too sure about tomorrow, mate. No, they're forecasting rain for today, and most of it fell last night, really, uh, Wayne, even though we had a lot of uh, heavy rain here this morning also, and the greens were completely underwater at 10 past 7. Look how well they're, <laughs> they're playing now, though, with all due respect, Wayne, so... Uh, they're running pretty good, I'm telling you. Credit to the green staff here. They've done a superb job here this morning. So we're still going to be a little bit more aggressive up here. I reckon she could probably get a couple of those bowls. Uh, just had to be a little bit uh, little bit wider. And that's the beauty that uh, quite realistically with that bowl there of Esther's, even though you're playing weight, you've still got to throw a bit of grass out there. And Julie's going round the back here. She's giving him a bit of cover. Yeah, that's a good bowl there from Julie Coogan. Yep, believe he's pretty happy with that. So that's okay. We got the two best backward. It's really the only shot Faye's got on. She really, I think she struggled to get that on the forehand. I think the only shot she's got on is on the backhand, and she's got to spring it with her first bowl to give herself the opportunity to dead draw it with her second bowl. So um, that's what she'd be thinking. I'm pretty sure of that. She just needs that. Uh, that's about all she's got to spring it with her first bowl. And look at that down there. When you see from down here, that's a good shot there that Robbie's got us on at the moment. That's what she's seeing. It's a one bowl target. And they're all lined up in a row. So that's what she's seeing from down there, which was a perfect shot. Uh, she's, uh, she's contemplating. I think she's going to play the back end. I think it's the only shot she's really got to get it. Just bring it open. 
Well, she's definitely in the region. Is she around this front bowl? Geez, that swung, didn't it? I'm surprised that swung so much. I thought she had bigger weight on that. Okay, Bolivia. Oh, well, she's in the luxury. There's just a few ends to go. She really doesn't want to fatten that target or give uh, or give Faye anything that she can rest off. So I think you'll find that she'll probably just play the forehand and go for cover. Well, that's what I'd be playing anyway. Even though I'd probably be drawing a dead draw, I'd still be going for cover. As you can see, the wind there blowing. Got a few people coming in today, so it's quite good to see. Even it's not a very pleasant day here at. Uh, Kiwana, it's uh, Kiwana at uh, Coolum, I should say. We're at Kiwana on the first day. Seems like an eternity ago. But um, it's, it's very humid, though, so it's not really... You can't call it cold, that's for sure. OK, Faye. Look at that swing, though. Yeah. Probably still three down. I wouldn't be surprised if they call it after this. Two ends to play, too many in it to... Um, all they've got to do is win by one. Uh, she'd be holding three shots there, I'm assuming, because that bowl of theirs just fell out too. Fell backwards, so I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, Bolivia's just got to beat this bowl of phase here, just in behind Karen Goldsworthy's bowl, which is the black and white one there, as we can see. Oh. No, they're going to play on. That's good. I thought they may have uh, pulled up because... Couple of shots there to um, once again to Bolivia. Michael Brindle, uh, Michael, I can say he's toughen up, Princess. It's cold in Toowoomba, misty rain, windy, and you need a hot shower. Come on, mate, toughen up, sunshine. Look short to me, so I wouldn't be surprised if Faye gets an umpire out here. Oh, no. She said it's in by that. So, well, they're back on the line, so they're looking at the uh, the white line. So, anyway, they're all happy to play it. So, Cheryl Heaps, like, once again. Look at this draw across the head, though. See the hence the light sign there, it's blustering in the breeze. Hence the light, choice of champions. Of course, not only hence the light we must thank, we must also thank the uh, Sunshine Coast Council. Well, it's a bit, bit, bit unlucky there, uh, Janet. It's just that uh, she had a little bit more full, or she would have actually probably come in for shot. Mate, Michael, if Kerry was a nice bloke, he'd bring up some nice hot scones. The only thing is, mate, he would load the back seat with scones for you and they'd be gone by the time he got to you because you're up on top of the mountain. You're up in Toowoomba. He would eat them all on the way, buddy. Trust me. OK, Janet, she's going to sit this bowl on Cheryl. She has. Yes, that's again, it's a good lead bowl. Yeah, we'll do uh, pot old Pete. I'll let Michael know. And coffee. <laughs> That'd be right too, Pat. He definitely want his coffee. Now, Karen, I don't think she's got the kitty. She's just going to miss it. Probably shot the fallen over like that, so it wouldn't be too far away. Now, Jess, she's had a pretty solid game. She's been, uh, been around it, as she has been again here. It's another great bowl here by young Jess. Just Perrin, so we see Adam White and Jake Wren pulled right back in now. Adam White, 15, Jake Wren, 14, after 7 ends. Kane Nelson, 23, Nick Gosley, 18, after 19 ends. 
Jane Tennant 19, Wendy Wilson 13 after 19 ends. Jeez, there's some great games out there. You can tell it's semi-final day, can't you? <laughs> there's uh, some great games out there. That's another good catcher area there just for Karen. Any movement on that front bowl of um, Jess, and that's exactly where the kitty's going to go. Jeez, that still came back a long way. Jesse, Jesse threw that out there, and it came back a mile. <laughs> Clive, yeah, be a bit warmer down there. Julie just trying to crack an egg on that bowl of Jesse's, but she's got another, she's got another bowl there, right in the catchment area, where it's going to go by the looks of that. So Esther. I think Faye's saying, Esther, this bowl here needs a friend, Esther. Oh, she had the track, but just not the weight. Good on you, Clive. You're at Moolabar later in the week, mate. Must be playing the singles, I gather, Clive. Okay, Esther looking to come around that last bowl of hers. I think she might be into it with a pack. Yep. Believe it or not, she's come to a pretty reasonable home there, just depending on what weight um, Bolivia plays. I don't think she'll go real big at it. She can really pluck this off either him, but she's looking just to crack an egg just to get it into those bowls of Karen's and Julie's. So big difference between cracking an egg and having scrambled eggs. Oh, what a bowl, Bolivia. What a bowl. That's an incredible bowl. <laughs> Oh dear, what does she do next for an encore? Okay, Faye, the bowl starts working in the head. She's going to get hold of Jess. Oh, unlucky. I favour Bolivia's bowl for shot, and that's in fact the way Julie said. I think she did get shot with her first bowl. Absolutely incredible bowl, because she had the opportunity just to crack an egg on that. Another good try there from Bolivia. <laughs> uh, Clive, mate, you may double their scores, mate. It may be a hard section, but, mate, you've got more experience than them, son. <laughs> so go out and show how the old blokes can do it. Yeah, pretty hard one to get rid of, in actual fact, for Faye. But she's really got to make you know, multiple shots on this end. Or kill it. One of the two. Yeah, don't worry about the egg. You're dead right, Michael. <laughs> she just <laughs> dead drew it instead, mate. Like anyone else would just crack an egg on that. Faye looking for the kill. I don't think it... No. Nah. Well played. They're pulling the pin on it. They're just trying to sort out who's got shot here. Doesn't really matter. I think there's two shots there. you got one of Janet's and one of um, Jess's there. So I think it's two shots. Two shots to uh, Faye Clark's team. So 26 to 16, uh, Bolivia. I congratulate Bolivia on her uh, fine game. She was... Gee whiz, she played... Uh, 
played some incredible bowls. Safe enough away from Faith Park. She's a very experienced campaigner and a very good player, but gee whiz, Bolivia today. Absolutely burnt. Absolutely incredible. And you see the hence the light signs in there now and the Sunshine Coast Council signs. You see the flags up top flapping in the breeze. So it's got a bit of breeze here, so drying the surface out and uh been uh, 2023 Bowls Queensland State Championship Fours, proudly sponsored by Henselite, the choice of champions. We thank them very much for their generosity. And of course, the Sunshine City, Sunshine Coast Council, I should say, not City, the Sunshine Coast Council. We thank them very much for their generous sponsorship and, of course, we couldn't be here if it wasn't for the initiative of the Board of Bowls Queensland to uh, get us to come up and showcase this incredible game of ours and it's uh, getting out to so many people and so many people enjoying the broadcast. Of course, Bowls Queensland is proudly sponsored and supported by Mullins More Than Law, Queensland Government, PCIB Insurance Brokers, Asset Sports, J. Carroll Club Promotions and IWE Innovations with Energy. We thank all those wonderful sponsors there absolutely for their generosity and their support. And, of course, Henselite is the major sponsor of the Bowls Queensland Fours. We would like to thank all the host clubs, particularly Curlin, for hosting this event today, but all of the other clubs too. We'd also like to thank the umpires, greenkeepers, bar staff, bistro staff, and all the volunteers for their support of this event. And we wouldn't be sitting in this nice little place if it wasn't for CDC Projects. Gavin Hopkins, they're here in Coolum. He built this little shed for us, and he's pulling it down when we go. So, And, of course, the person that donated the carpet for this is Massive Clearance Sale. Floor Smart, their carpet, carpet tiles, you name it. they got sheet vinyl, vinyl planks, suitable for house locks, bedrooms, sunrooms, annexes, caravans, rental properties. Great deals to be done. Contact Tim Quinn on 0408. 452-572. And that's Floor Smart who donated the carpet in this little cubby house for us. We thank them very, very much. Um, Lee, I'd say we'd be back round about... Um, well, see, the men are still playing. They've still got a few ends to play. So I don't think we'll be back much before quarter to 12, 12 o'clock, uh, Lee, would be my rough estimate. We haven't been told yet, so... Uh, but if you like Bowls Queensland Facebook uh, live streaming or Gold Coast Tweed, you'll get a ping and you'll know that we're back on. But just keep an eye out for us. But I say it'd be somewhere between quarter to 12, 12 o'clock at the moment because the players must have a bit of time for a break. So I just asked Robbie, have you been told any time? No, no, no we haven't been told, uh, Lee. So um, as I said, just keep an eye out and we will be back. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team, ably led by Mr. Robbie Allen. Yeah, with uh, there's only Nick Gosley and Kane Nelson. It's 23 to 18 to Kane Nelson. 24 18 on 20, and Adam White and Jake Wren. It is 15 14 after 17. Pulling in a bit here, it's uh, after 20 ends, Joan Tennant 19, Wendy Wilson 14. So, pretty handy. Some close games, but we can't get to them, so we'll go off air. And we'd like to thank you very much for your patronage this morning. We look forward to showcasing you an incredible final this afternoon. On behalf of Robbie Allen and myself, Brian Marshall, thank you very much. Enjoy your bowls and support your club. Thank you.
lawn bowls. Wish I found it earlier. What a game.